was a busy weekend for IndyCar and Indy Lights from Road America. Welcome back to the IndyCar Show, Burnout Sports, BurnoutSports.com. Tony Donahue with you. That's Christian Rasmus, and he is an Indy Lights winner after Sunday's race up in Road America. Christian, thanks for hopping on here. Let's just start with the day. It was it was kind of weird. You get going for 10 laps. You and your teammate Stingray Rob going back and forth. And then a former teammate of yours, Christian Bogle, rips down the fence. Luckily, he was okay after that accident. They had to repair the fence. You go red flag. And, oh, by the way, we're going to stop the race, and you're going to have to come back in about two and a half hours after the IndyCar race. So just just talk us through that red flag situation. Um, obviously, you wanted to get back going because you were sitting second at the time. But but, but just kind of talk about the weirdness of that 20-lap race on Sunday. Yeah, uh, first of all, thanks for having me here. Uh, great, we can do this stuff uh, while we're not racing. Um, and yeah, it was, a, it was a really good weekend. Uh, for me, having the red flag in the middle is, is, is a weird thing. Like It was obviously necessary with, with the fence being as knocked down as it was. Um, but it was kind of weird because I've never had these things happen in all of my career. And then all of a sudden it happens like two times in a month almost. Like It happened at Indy yeah. and it happened again here at, uh, at Road America. Um, but yeah, obviously I wanted to go out racing again. I was sitting in a good spot for the restart. Uh, you're almost as a, at a disadvantage uh, from pole position when when you do the restarts here at Road America uh, because of the long straights and, and the huge draft uh, down into turn one. So I knew I was in a good position. Um, so yeah, I was just hoping for the race to, res to get resumed if it was right away or if it was right after the IndyCar race. didn't really matter for me. Um, just as long as, uh, as we got back to racing. You know, you've won a lot of races over your career in the road to Indy, uh, a lot with Jay Howard, and then you get your first in Indy Lights on Sunday. Those, those last couple of laps, because when you go back to green, it's about nine laps. You get the mm -hmm. lead, you're out front, which is a position that you're very familiar with, but not in an Indy Lights car. What's going through your brain? Are you just focused forward? Are you trying to process what's going on? Uh, getting counting down those laps to the checkered flag on Sunday. No, I think it's just about staying focused. You know, uh, keep hit, hit, hitting your marks. Uh, we have a little more strategy that goes into the Indy Lights races uh, compared to the lower level series in USF 2000 and Indy Pro 2000 uh, with the push to pass and the huge tire deck, especially at Road America. Um, so just kind of keeping all those things in mind, uh, staying with your tools, staying on top of your tools uh, in the car with, with brake balance. And we have uh, roll bars that we can make softer and stiffer, both the rear and front. Um, so staying on top of all that uh, while not making mistakes is, is like the main thing. Um, I knew I was pretty good on push to pass uh, after the first bit of the race. I knew me and Stingray were about the same, but we were less than everybody else. Um, so we knew that we were in a good position. I felt like I had a really good car under me uh, with the Andretti Autosports number 28 car. And yeah, I felt, I felt strong. I felt confident. I felt like it was my time to win. Um, I feel like it's been coming for a while. So finally getting it done in, in Road America was, was a great feeling. Yeah, before we talk about, you know, the beginning of the season and some things that went down, Road America, a, a great trek. Every driver seems to love it. It's usually on a driver's top five list. Elevation changes, huge straightaways, braking zones. Uh, what is it about Elkhart Lake that you took to so gratefully? I mean, you've obviously raced there before, but there's a lot more that goes into it when you're in, in, in an Indy Lights car. Talk about just that track in general, four miles of just – pure badassness basically out in the middle of nowhere yeah. in wisconsin yeah it's exactly what you said it's just pure badassness it's uh you know <laughs> old school racetrack uh like they just don't make them like that anymore it's like you have like uh you have the the track you have some grass and then you have the fence so if you go off it's like you there's no coming back from it it's not like some of the newer tracks where you have a bunch of runoff uh, so you can just rejoin right away. It's 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 different around here, and like you say, with the elevation changes, and the area itself as well, uh, or like the, the the facility, I think is really cool. Uh, all the fans that came out was was great. Uh, great having them back after the pandemic as well. Uh, and yeah, just 
it's been good to me so far. It, I won there last year in Indy Pro 2000 after uh, a wreck as well uh, in race one, and then I won race two with with quite a margin. And yeah, it's it's just a cool place. I love being there. You know, and you get your first win. Let's go back to St. Pete, beginning of the year. Um, you know, you, you, you're dominating that race. Your first ever Indy Lights race doesn't happen for you. Um, you know, just bad luck on the last couple of laps there. So you've probably had a bad taste in your mouth since then. How did you use that weekend in St. Pete as even more added motivation throughout the remainder of the season? I think it was just about focusing on how quick we were right away. Mm -hmm. uh, like being able to show everyone that in my first ever in delights race that I was able to compete for a win, to run up front, mm -hmm. uh, don't make any mistakes while running up front. Um, and yeah, just showing everybody that I was able, that I was capable of, of doing that. Uh, I think I had the fastest lap of the race as well. So we had the pace and everything. So showing that on your first weekend, I think was really, really strong uh, and focusing on those positives, taking that on to the next races and the rest of the season, I think was important um, to the team as well as myself, uh, just to have that confidence in, in the package that, that we were able to, to, to do it. And what I've learned about you, too, is you're always learning, taking in information. You've had a lot of great people around you with Jay Howard, now at Andretti Autosport. But there's been a lot of adjustments. You know, the streets of Detroit, very tough race. Road America, you're about to get some ovals on the schedule coming up. The rain at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway was wild. Uh, obviously, your second red flag on Sunday. What have you learned about yourself um, that has really helped you focus more inside that Indy Lights car? Um... I don't know about like learning by myself, but just being a part of Andretti Autosport has been great for me. Uh, I've had a great run with Jay Howard Drive Development, like you have said. Um, but being part of as big of a corporation like Andretti Autosport is has has been a, a learning curve. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to to work with with great people there that have get me acclimated to the car, which has been the biggest thing for me personally, um, because the the Indy Lights car is quite different from uh, the smaller cars in Indy Pro and USF 2000, which I think is, is quite similar in terms of, of driving style. So there was definitely some stuff that I needed to learn uh, transitioning into the new car. Um, and that has really been the main thing. Uh, but again, we had a great testing program in the winter. So I felt, I felt strong in St. Pete. I felt like we've had the, the pace all year, like fastest lap at St. Pete. I was quickest in the rain uh, after I came out after my incident um, in Barber. Uh, same thing at the second race at Indy. I was, I was, I think, quickest towards the end of the race as well, uh, mm -hmm. catching up to Linus again. Um, almost had the fastest lap in the first race at Detroit. So the pace has been there. We have just had no, no results to show for it, which has been a little bit unfortunate. He got his first win over the weekend at Elkhart Lake in Indy Lights. Andretti Autosport driver Christian Rasmussen joining us. Uh, talk about that competition inside of the team. We saw all three Andretti cars on the podium on Sunday. Matty Brabham started the season with that win at St. Pete. What's the camaraderie between the team, knowing that you guys are all friends and teammates, but there is a certain competition level because you always want to beat your teammate. There's, uh, there's always competition. Uh, I think your teammate is always the first person that you need to beat and you want to beat. Um, mm. And we have a super, super strong group. When you look at it, uh, we have Indy Pro 2000 champion Stingray Rob, uh, USF 2000 uh, runner-up in Hunter McElroy. He was also decent last year in Indy Pro. Uh, former champions in, uh, in Pro Master. Uh, with Matty Brabham. So it's all championship winning drivers that is within the team. So being a part of that has been also quite different for me. Um, having been like, like the main guy in, in, in the team, uh, being able to run up front. Uh, so that has been a little bit different for me, uh, but it's been great because you have so, so, so good data to rely on. Um, so and I think that's that's the way you learn the most is being by being up against the best. And I feel like that's what I'm doing right now. You got mid-Ohio, Iowa, Gateway, Portland coming up over the next couple of months. I want to talk about Iowa with you real quick. Uh, I know you have experienced some down at Gateway, but Iowa is a very 
tough track. It's a bull ring. You're constantly turning that car. What do you know about the Iowa Speedway? And is this something you're looking forward to as a new challenge? Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Uh, I have enjoyed the Oval in the past. Uh, the Ovals has been pretty good to me as well. Uh, having won both the Freedom 75 and the Freedom 90 in USF 2000 in, in the Pro. Uh, got a second place at Gateway last year as well. So it's it's been pretty good to me. Um, and I think it's, it's really fun. Uh, I don't know too much about Iowa. Um, so we're kind of slowly getting our prep started for that so we can be prepared uh but other than that i just look forward to getting on a new oval what do you like about being in indianapolis i mean i know you've been here for a couple of years now it's a little bit different than probably what you're used to growing up but but you you know i, I gotta say this and, and and christian lungard told me this on media day for the 500 and if I think about it correctly, he is the only driver in your guys' apartment complex that doesn't have a win this year. You've got Erickson with the 500 win. <laughs> Awards got a win. You've got a win now. So we got to get Lungard in the victory circle here in IndyCar. Talk about that relationship and having, you know, a friend that there's not a lot of drivers in this world that you can live, or live around the corner from, but just having that bond and having somebody that kind of knows exactly what you're going through week in and week out. No, it's, it's been great having Christian here. Uh, I can feel a huge difference from, from last year. Uh, I had great roommates there last year, but just having someone that you grew up with carding mm -hmm. that you know each other very well and you can speak your own language to. Uh, and surprisingly, we don't really talk a lot of racing. It's, it's all the other stuff that we talk about that I've been missing. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy having Christian here. He's right around the corner. Like you say, uh, we have to. I haven't thought about that. He's the only one that doesn't have a win around here, so we'll have to uh, we'll have to get on him uh, about that. But no, it's been great. Uh, been great having him here. Uh, your relationship with Michael Andretti, uh, just the conversations there, and uh, you know, just being in a being a part of that group, like you've already mentioned, but being being a part of that group that has an Indianapolis 500 champion, a guy like Colton Herta, who is a contender week in and week out, a former the one driver in Grosjean, and then Michael himself, who pretty much every racetrack you go to, he probably has a win or at least a boat ton of experience at that track. Yeah, it's just, like I said earlier, it's just great to be part of, of this corporation as, as Andretti Autosport is. Uh, so much knowledge within the team that you can kind of feed off of, uh, that you can take into consideration and, and help you improve as a race car driver yourself. Uh, I've been on the, on the pit stands for some of the races, listening in on all the engineers, uh, how they work. Uh, also, uh, like, in, like engineers uh, themselves working together, but also the race engineer to the driver and see how they do feedback and, and all that stuff. So I think, it's a great possibility for us young drivers to already now start to learn all the, um, all the stuff you need to do at, at the level that we want to be at. You got three weeks off to kind of enjoy this race, this race win your first ever in Indy lights. Uh, what are we going to do over the next 19 or so days before Indy lights shifts to mid Ohio? Well, it's just uh, back at the gym, uh, back at pit for yeah. training and uh, work away, you know, getting the, getting the physical uh, state, uh, get the fitness level to where we want it to be uh, as, as good as possible. I was in the gym this morning, uh, just working away. Um, so for me, it's, it's all about that. We have a test coming up as well, which is going to be exciting. And other than that, no, it's just staying on top of everything with, uh, with, with that side of things. Christian Rasmussen from Andretti Autosport picks up his first career Indy Lights race over the weekend at Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. At Christian R underscore DK. Make sure you follow him on Twitter as the 2022 Indy Light season will continue on at Mid Ohio in a few weeks. Christian, as always, my friend, thank you for joining us. Uh, you know, I'll always be there to to cheer you on and 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 hopefully celebrate a few more in Victory Circle with you here over the next couple of years. Yeah, I appreciate it, Tony. Thank you, thank you guys for having me, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.